Hello and welcome to another Dollhouse presentation. For those that you do not know who I am, I'm Sharon Barton Maggio. I love dollhouses and I am so glad to be doing this presentation. I told Michael and David I would be more than glad to do it. Um, I prefer to, to do a different role, but I'm also a presenter. And I picked this particular house out because it has a lot of history um, and it relates to when it was in Flora Gil Jacobs um, Museum. And I did see it there and how I came to acquire it. And so I'm going to be talking about a lot of things with it. I believe that this is a carpenter's house that was done a specialty item. Again, my very favorite thing that attracts me to a house is the architecture and it checked off every single box. It has a beautiful entry, it has the stairs, it has these windows, they're all original glass, um, and the molding, the beautiful dental molding, gorgeous uh, chimneys, it has it all. I saw this house when I was with a group who toured Flora Gil Jacobs Museum. And I have to tell you, uh, she was a presenter at a couple of the conferences I went to. Phenomenal lady, leader in the love of these particular items. We all miss the items and the journey that she took to get them for us. And this is one of the many houses that is definitely a tribute to her. Now I'd like to go ahead and open it up for you. And again, this is the part I really enjoy. You can fold back the doors. And then on this side, you open another door. And what it reveals is a very, very special dollhouse. Love the curtains on the windows. Uh, they're all original, as you can tell. Some have yellowed a little bit with age, but they are correct. They are the correct style, especially in the kitchen. You see all of these are a little bit more fancy because they would belong in bedrooms and in uh, the great room, the parlors, and then more appropriate for kitchen. And now you get to see the interior. We will start with this room. Yes, one of my favorite rooms. I've always got to create a nursery and this one definitely has a nursery. Uh, the paper that's on the walls, I cannot tell you if it is original. We know that this is an American uh, carpenter's house. We know that it probably was built between 1850 and 1860. And, but as far as the wallpaper, that I have no knowledge of. When you look in this room, of course, you see nannies. You see a cradle with a young baby in. Rocking horses. All the Victorians love their rocking horses. I particularly love the little boy that is sitting, standing at the side. He's got a drum in his hand. His other counterpart, who's on the other side, is wearing a uniform of a uh, soldier. You can see all the wonderful toys that are on the table. Again, a baby minder that is different from others that I have found. Some beautiful rock and garner uh, pieces, um, Biedemeyer um, pieces. A lot of little activities are going on uh, with the side that is says, this is girl's side because it has the cradle and it has the, um, the high chair for the doll. It has a little baby buggy. But that side is definitely says for the girls. The other side says definitely for the boys. And you can see two nannies that are in there and they are responsible for taking care of the children. Today's event is a really hugely attended event. So there are multiple children from the families coming to it. Now we move over to the next room and this is the parents' bedroom. And I particularly really enjoy this room because you can see that, it, yes, it is. It is um, for adults. It has a beautiful set of furniture that sits right in front, um, very old style, and it fits well with the room. It's a settee for them to sit down. 
Uh, you can see to your, um, in the back, there is a bed, a beautiful uh, bed with all its finery around it, a fireplace, and all of these rooms have the original fireplaces in them, which makes it very, very special. Now coming forward, of course, you're gonna see animals and you see another dog with puppies on one side. And then on the other side, you see just a smaller dog. Now this room also has a desk for the, the man of the house so he can go up to his room if he has to make some notes or it's also for the lady of the house if she wants to send out invitations. Beautiful lights are on it. Most of the pieces that are in this house were acquired from Ann Timpson, from David and Michael at Carmel Doll Shop. They uh, had a lot of wonderful toys that I bought and from other individuals. Um, they especially are responsible for some beautiful dolls that we'll see in other rooms. So I really appreciate all their help. Um, I know Marion Manis, uh, I bought a few things from her, so it's a collective of all my favorite friends. Now there is so much happening in the great room. You see a beautiful Victorian bride is towards the back with her husband. And this was a day when the ceremony was probably performed at the house, which was very typical for the Victorians of that time. She has probably what could be a mother, her mother and sister are there accompanying. Uh, there are several invited guests, some very special gentlemen that are to the side. Uh, they are, and probably maybe the father of the bride is dressed in his soldier um, uniform. The young man that is in front of him he has got some luggage in his hands, so he looks like an individual, a coachman, that would be taking things down to the coach that is awaiting them. The center is where they can all go and sit down. Uh, for those that aren't ready to leave and talk about the day, you see there is staff there to help them with their needs a beautiful punch bowl and very rare type of cups that go to the punch bowl is behind the sofa. And I believe that that was from Ann Meehan. On the couch, I can see some, what they would call woman's work. There are some, looks like some letter writing. That's definitely a sewing box. Uh, and that was typical of what you would, items you would find in the parlor. Then we have over to the left side, you see the Christmas tree and a lot of gifts. I love finding, there's some little skates. Um, Kathy Ray always finds me the little different things like that. Uh, skates, dolls, a lot of interesting things. And you see, um, which I told my husband, I always make sure that there's always somebody or some golfing equipment in each house. That is a lady, a wife, and a gentleman. And you see that they each have golf clubs. And so it looks like they've been attending the ceremony today, and now they're getting ready to leave and they're going to be going on to another activity. I, the curtains are all original. The fireplace, again, are original, and that's a very large one, but this is a gr what they would consider a great room. Many beautiful armaloo, um, uh, different types of stands and lights, beautiful light fixtures, all did not come with the house, but I acquired them or had them to make this room look like it, it is today. Then we can go down from there to the dining room and you see life is definitely going on. And because this is such a large group coming today, we have several 
um, individuals who are helping in the kitchen are putting it on. We have another lady who has probably taken over the duties of telling them when to serve and what to serve. And all the guests who are staying on today from this beautiful wedding are going to be enjoying a very nice um, lunch or dinner. And you can see the beginnings of it on the table. Again, beautiful curtains, everything in is still there. Uh, a very old chandelier hangs there. And a lot of life is going on today. At the front is a mailman. He's come to deliver mail. He has his original pouch. And I'm really uh, pleased by the way he still looks very in very good condition. And having his original pouch is really nice also. Then we move to where the they say the kitchen is the heart of the home. Well, definitely in Victorian times, it was. The kitchen was alive, was bustling. The meals were being fixed. Uh, the waiters were coming in and out. The cooks were coming in and out, uh, all to prepare one meal for the um, lady and gentleman of the house. Um, I love the table because it has so many nice um, elements on it. You can see a lot of different foods are there. You can see some dishes. The dishes are all or, uh, original from the, uh, that particular period. Uh, they have uh, tables. There's a lot of utensils hanging on the walls. Uh, a vacuum cleaner, a sweeper, because again, uh, there's that's what was all always included in the um, the tools that were needed to take care of such a large house. You can see a stove back there, which is very old. Um, different pieces that are on the walls. Um, I can see a beautiful decorated platter by the telephone, and that is going to be put. Uh, uh, perhaps dessert items and taken to the table after they have enjoyed their meal. You can also see many activities going on. There's, uh, looks like grandmother may be down telling them what to do. Uh, we have somebody ironing there, which would have been done in the kitchen. But it presents, again, what I really enjoy, life, events, pets, people, children representing what really happens in homes today. Thank you so much. I hope that you enjoyed um, my presentation. And I have to tell you that the presentation, what I enjoyed doing, but what I enjoyed even more, this is a hobby that is so much fun. You start with an empty rooms, you start with nothing, and then you begin to visualize what life must have been for them, and then you start creating. So I really encourage anybody who is looking for something that is fun, and you don't get it finished right away, but it's something that you will truly enjoy. I also am so glad that I was able to present this house to you. I am sure that this house was probably made for some very lucky little girl, and it went in her nursery, and hopefully she had many years of enjoyment also. I particularly want to stress about Flora Gill Jacobs. 30 years that she worked so hard for us to find these items, to have a beautiful museum where we could see these items. I mean, it, this is a whole tribute to the items. I'm sure she saw many houses, but she picked the ones that she thought we would enjoy the most. And she was a collector also. Um, so we owe so much to this wonderful woman. I feel so proud to have this particular item of hers. I saw it in the museum when I was there and I just could not believe how she amassed such a wonderful collection. And um, when it came up for sale, I knew that this was one that I really would love to have for myself, but also f for a tribute 
to Flora Gill Jacobs and the wonderful person she was and how much fun she has given all of us who find these houses. Thank you again. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button.